Well, hello, my beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your general love reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general love reading. It may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is Scorpio season, so it's a time for shedding relationships or situations that no longer serve us or hold us back, whilst also energizing those that we wish to keep and nurturing them. This is a general love reading, so I allow spirit free will as to which they would like to talk about. If you would like a more focused love reading, I will be doing a new love reading for singles and a twin flame reading in the next couple of days. Let's get straight to the general, my beautiful Capricorn. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? I did a pre-shuffle and a meditation before, and you got freedom, you got true love, and you got travel. Ooh, no. So let's see what comes up for your uh, main general reading for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What are they meant to know for their highest good regarding love? We have spiritual growth. We have new love. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What are they meant to see for their highest good regarding love in November? Wow. We also have communication and we have union. Okay, so it looks like someone is partnering up. Um, I feel the energy is a little bit sort of uh, mid to the late November, but let's go deeper and see what they would like to discuss. I'm going to get the details of what they would like to tell you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can we please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know regarding their love for November? We have Let Your Friends Help You. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? Do you want that one? Yeah. We have Keep an Open Mind. Okay, when I was shuffling before... I did get the card, this could be the one. So let's see what else comes. Express your love and playfulness. Okay, so let's get straight to it. I'm just gonna get the energy using the White Witch Tarot of what we're dealing with for November. I'm uh, dating this, wow, we got the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a turning point here, perhaps something you're not expecting, new love coming your way. Seems like it's quite a surprise. Thank you so, Ooh. And we also have the Emperor, we have the Moon card, and we have the Hangman. So it seems to come with a new perspective, but there's definitely a surprise here because we've got the Moon card showing up. So you're not expecting this new love at all, um, which is coming. So there we go. Beautiful heart of yours, Capricorn. You deserve love, and that love is coming towards you. This is going to head to a higher level commitment. Why? Because spiritually, you've grown a lot. There is uh, some deep rooted issues that you may have uh, been wrestling with over the last couple of years. Um, but it, it's coming full circle now. Um, there is a turning point here for you for a more successful partnership with someone. You're calling in soulmate energy here. And um, they're indicating here um, the gem itself, okay? Your beautiful heart um, is something that is so pure, so giving, so nurturing. And there's an energy here, Capricorn, where you know when you want to... Um, They've given me this energy once before, but you know when people mine for precious stones, it takes a lot to find them. People dig deep because you don't really put your heart on your sleeve. You're off, you know, being an entrepreneur, that emperor energy, male or female, it's not about uh, gender, it's about the energy. So you're normally after, you know, your career path, you know, you're doing your money, etc., etc. You're off being a wonderful achiever, doing interesting things, being solid, grounded, and practical about your financial future. Um, so often people, you know, they don't have time to really chip, chip, chip away at uh, the outer layer, as it were, to reveal your beautiful heart. And uh, you may have felt um, that was a bit of a shame. That's the energy I'm getting here. Equally, I feel like um, now is the time that you're starting to open up your wonderful heart and think about love in general because um, I feel this shift across the world, uh, not just for Capricorn, but I feel like you're getting back to grassroots. What is important, okay? And you're starting to look at your wonderful heart and thinking, huh, it would be nice 
to have um, some true love coming on in now. I, I feel like I'm nearly ready. And I say nearly, okay, because I still feel like um, you're, you've got a plan. It's almost like I'm, I'm feeling this like five-year plan that you've got this very business oriented, you know, uh, you, you, you got your, you're, you're thinking about your home life. You're thinking about financial security. And that's not to say that you have put love completely on the back burner, but I get an energy of you feel like you need to be secure first where you are before you start letting the true love in, because you know that when you give your beautiful heart, you give everything. You give everything you've got, and it's a gem in itself, okay? Very precious here. Um, you recognize that true love takes time, work, investment, and you're not willing to give your heart to just any old body, okay? Just because, you know, you may have lonely 3 a.m. thoughts, that sort of thing. You invest fully when you've met the right one, okay? So there's a lot of spiritual growth here, but you're calling in this new love that is, at, they didn't want me to put this card down because they're like, uh, 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 you're not finished. So you're calling in this new love. You may be doing things like law of attraction or cosmic ordering. You're about to meet your match, which is wonderful. That's why there's union on the board here because it feels like this person is going to mirror your beautiful heart back to you. There is a purity about this. There is a magic. It's almost like if you felt like you had given up on love and become quite cynical in the past about love, it feels like that's all about to go out the window. It's very energized, very, it's like electric. It's like you're finding your mojo, okay? It's a lot of magic uh, about this. Now, they're asking me to look at this card a little bit closer, so I will. One moment, please. They're showing me a speedboat. <laughs> So either you got a speedboat, which if you do, wow, that's that's something else. That's really wonderful. Um, they're showing me a speedboat, so I feel like it's gonna be um, it's gonna be an exciting ride. Okay, now speedboat is something that's often quite smaller, maybe maybe two, maybe four four people can fit in that. So I feel like it's a speedboat. They're not showing me anyone in the boat, but I feel like either you got a boat or a, a speedboat means something to you. But the energy I'm getting is that you and this person are going to be on quite a ride. It's going to be exciting. Perhaps you're even going to travel together or it's you work on the seas or this person works on the seas. Something to do with um, the ocean, speedboat. Uh, it feels it feels quite magical, actually. Um, maybe this person, when you meet them, they're going to take you for a speedboat ride or they w work on the um, ocean in some way. If that resonates in some way, there's something in this message for you. But we have spiritual growth here. So you're ascending. Now is the time to receive this true love that is just as beautiful as your heart. Very honest, open, dependable, grounded. But there's a certain something, something about this person. A lot of magic. It's like they're like you, but they're also a little bit opposite you. Okay? Now, uh, we'll go deeper and find out uh, the energy, but there's transformation here. It's Scorpio season, and I know I'm just getting a bit of a strong Scorpio energy from this, but we'll, we'll, we'll go deeper. A uh, lot of growth here, and uh, they're actually showing me this pose. So it's a yoga pose there. So perhaps you meet this person at a yoga class or, uh, you know, you teach yoga in some way um, or you attend some sort of spiritual practice where I feel like you come into being. Um, there is uh, this person could be in your sphere due to that. You may have been, you've been taking some sort of courses in spirituality, but I feel like you're really trying to align your center. Okay, your 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 all your chakras are starting to open. You're really paying attention to mindfulness as well. Um, so I feel like there's a shift across the board for you and uh, spiritual growth. You're unlocking a, a lot of spiritual gifts right now as well. So we have communication. So that's going to be very soon. I will pull a card on it later on in the reading. But uh, communication, uh, you will be in contact with someone. If you're not already in contact with this person, it's imminent, okay? I'm feeling, because I'm doing this in November, this reading extends from November the 9th right through to November the, uh, sorry, no November 9th to the uh, December 9th. Or maybe just beyond. They're reaching up to the 15th actually. Um, okay, so you're going to be communicating with this person, but also I feel like you've grown a lot, Capcorn, in terms of your communication skills. You're very self-sufficient. There is an air of, um, yeah, there's also a little bit of an air here of you, Capricorn, being stuck to your phone, but it's all business, business, business. You may be keeping your eye on um, 
either stocks and shares or you know some sort of investment it feels like you're glued to your phone for imminent changes now that may be that you're looking for a job at the moment we're going to have a look here because we've got that emperor card very career oriented okay and maybe that's what made you feel in the past that you were not ready for a union but that's all about to change whether you like it or not i <laughs> know i'm only joking we all have free will uh, but we do have union coming on in here and it's going to be um a high level commitment whether that's marriage if that's your thing and you want to go that way then that is on the board for you but should you wish to just have you know um a high level commitment and see where it goes I, I really feel this is going to be a solid union, okay? So uh, I feel like it's going the whole the whole hog here. That's what they're giving me with that union card. Um, sorry, they're just giving me something when you, with union. One moment, please. Now, there's a community thing. Um, it's like a community event there. Um, and I, I guess it will be socially distant. Um, but, um, there's union in the title of it. So, um, either you've been invited to something, some sort of community based event, and it's got union in the title. Maybe that's the place, something union. Maybe it's a place of worship or a community center, but the event itself seems to have union in the title or in the invitation. And, um, that in some way is relevant to you or to meeting this new person. Maybe, um, maybe where you have your boat, if you, if you're the person with the speedboat, um, the actual docking place is something union or something. Uh, if that message resonates in some way, there's something in this message for you. Okay. We have let your friends help you. So it says, uh, ask for and accept support from others. Now, Capricorn, you got a really large, um, friendship set. I feel you and in by way of meaning I mean you know a lot of people okay um, but you you only count a very small amount of people on your hand okay I feel you know you you're a bit of a lone wolf that's the energy I'm getting from you um, or, or this reading and um, you may not often ask your friends for advice because normally you're very savvy you're on it you kind of think for yourself and you're you march to the beat of your own drum but there's something in your life um, that's other than um, love that you're asking your friends for. And they may put you in touch with somebody because of it. And there is a connection here for love. Okay? Um, so that's what I'm getting. I don't often get that energy here. Um, but that's what they're giving me. You go to a friend for advice about something and you normally don't. Normally you kind of do your own thing. But they put you in touch with someone and that someone is where you meet a new love, okay? Uh, yeah, this it's, it's, it's instant. As soon as this person meets you, they see a future with you. It's almost like you're very psychic at this time. I feel like when you meet this person, you and this person, as soon as you come into being, it's like love at first sight. And um, you both can see a future instantly. I feel like one of you are actually going to get a bit of a psychic flash where you actually see an event in the future of you and you you two together. So that's either you, Capricorn, having a psychic flash of you and this person together in the future in a union. I see you, I see you, now don't scream when I say this, I see you married, okay? So um, that's what I'm getting there. Uh, now that's either you having the psychic flash or this new person that you meet, but it will be a discussion in time to come. It could also be that your friend has uh, an image of you and this person together and has a conversation about it with you. There is a conversation. It involves, it, it revolves around that. I saw you married with this person. Okay. And it's not just coming from my words. This is a conversation you, you have with somebody. Okay. If that's recent and you've already kind of met somebody and it's kind of new, well, there's something in this message for you. But if not, this is to come. It's very in imminent. Now we have keep an open mind. This person is not like anybody you've ever dated before, Capricorn. That may be a good thing. It may be a bad thing. It may make you resistant at first. But when you really look at this person, you know, you know that this person is for you. It says your soulmates may differ from your usual type and expectations. 
I feel like, you know, um, there's definitely a connection here with your friends in some way, kind of looking back at you and this person going, yeah, you two are going to get together. You two, this is it. This is the one. And they may communicate it with you. It's really quick because the speedboat is appearing again. So I feel like um, it's an adventure. It, it really is. And uh, this person's really going to be into you. The, you're going to know this person. If you feel like you've met this person or when you do meet this person, if you feel like you've got interest in this person, times that by a thousand with the, the way this person feels about you because they're interested in you immediately. They're going to ask loads of questions. It's almost like you're going to be like, whoa, am I on like mastermind? Am I on like, um, how can I put that? You know, when so, am I being interrogated? But it's in a good way. This person wants to find out about you as much as possible in Capricorn. I feel like you don't really go down the route of like ads, asking loads of questions or answering loads of questions. So it's going to be quite a whirlwind of energy with this person, okay? Um, but it is divinely guided and you're going to enjoy um, the attention. That's what I'm getting. We got express your love, okay? So remember how I said um, your beautiful heart? It's such a gem. You think about mining it. You know, it takes a lot to chip away uh, the coal or the, you know, the the stone that is around a gem before you actually break it open and reveal that beautiful gem inside. Well, this person, they're going to be digging, Capricorn. They're digging deep. But there is a thing here where you sometimes in the past may have um, not expressed yourself fully in relationships. You may have not played it cool. I don't feel that. I feel like you may have had a protective energy over your heart because of something in the past. It may not have readily said how you feel. You're going to surprise yourself, okay? They're indicating express your love, but I feel from this card that actually you will. You, you know, it feels like it's all in. You're going to be like pinching yourself uh, by the end of December going, is this happening? I did not see this coming, okay? This is the energy that I'm getting. But it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This person that is coming, I feel like they will go after you. They will woo you, as it were. Um, but do show them how you feel. Because this person, you know, there is a danger sometimes, Capricorn, if uh, you don't speak up and say how you feel also, this person may feel like maybe you're not interested Okay, um, there, there's a real flirtatious kind of energy about this person. They're really, oh, something about the Olympics. Now, this came up before, many, many months ago. Maybe not for your sign, the Olympics. So either this person or you are wearing an Olympics t-shirt. You may not have gone to the Olympics, but there's some sort of Olympic ring or something on your sweat, sweater or your t-shirt or something like that. Um, or this person has that when you meet. There's something about this. Okay, um, if that's you, there's something in this message for you. But the Olympics, the rings, they seem to be par playing a part. Maybe it's even a conversation about an image of the Olympic rings. Because they show me the image of the rings. And it's kind of like a talking point. Like if you're wearing the sweater and they say, oh, did you go to the Olympics? You're like, oh, no, no, uh, my sister gave it to me as a gift or something like that. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. Someone gave it to you as a gift. It doesn't have to be. Or maybe you bought it yourself. I'm just giving you an example. But we have uh, playfulness. So there's a lot of excitement and flirtation around you and this person. And I feel like you're going to feel like it's first love, which is really wonderful. It's almost like you and this person, there's no baggage from the past. It's going to be freewheeling, free and easy. It's going to be quite an adventure. And it says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. It's in there, Capricorn. Underneath, uh, underneath all that business head that you got going on, there is a child that just wants to have a lot of fun, go on an adventure, and kick back and relax. You're really freewheeling. You're very easygoing, and you're about to meet someone who's going to set your soul on fire as much as they do you. Okay, so it's a wonderful adventure here. Sorry, they just asked me to have a look at this card a little bit closer, so I will. One moment, please. Yeah, they're just giving me some whirlwind. It's like quite, um, quite fast paced. Okay. 
Okay, uh, so they're giving me an image of, um, it's like, um, oh gosh, it's a film, yeah, it's like, um, is it a Groot, like that baby Groot thing, and it's like Guardians of the Galaxy energy, um, that's, yeah, that, that is the film, yeah, I am, yeah, I'm right, um, they're showing me an image of that, so either as you listen to this reading, you're looking at like a little ornament of Groot um, or um, Guardians of the Galaxy, but Groot is on this thing. That if that's you, there's something in this message for you. I'm trying to see if there's anybody else there, but I'm only seeing the uh, the actual Groot itself. And then there's like stuff in the distance that's kind of blurred for me. I can't see past it. Now, maybe it means that, you know, there's like it's a wonderful, you know, Baby Groot is kind of small, it's healthy, cute kind of energy. It's going to grow big one day, right? It's going to grow and grow and grow. It's going to be very healthy and solid roots, that sort of energy. But there is a playfulness here. But I feel like you're either looking at that right now or you've just like put it down somewhere or something. It's, re it's relevant to you, Capricorn, in some way. I'll move on from that image because I can't get anything more out of that. Uh, but we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So this is the protagonist energy for November. You're turning things around. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, and it's going to be lucky in love now for you. Okay, Capricorn? After a time of feeling stuck in a rut, perhaps, maybe you were just on that work wheel, going round and round and round, burying your head in your work, getting your strategy, strategy together. Well, Spirit says, yeah, okay, that's fine, but now is the time to be airlifted out of that situation and into a love situation, okay? So we have a wonderful change here that is for the better. Now, it may feel risky, Capricorn, because um, wherever you meet this person, I just get an energy where, Capricorn, I feel like you don't really like to... Um, partner up with someone either that you work with or that you like to go you feel this kind of like grounded energy where if you for example have a favorite coffee store and say for example there was a a, a waiter or a waitress in there that you thought oh they're kind of hot I, you know you wouldn't do anything about that because that's your favorite coffee store I feel like it's kind of an energy of you wouldn't date someone who was where you frequent, you enjoy going. That's the energy that I'm getting here. It's a nice place to, to meet people, but at the end of the day, you like your creature comforts. And if you search high and low for like the best coffee in the state and you found it at this place, if it went wrong, love, I mean, I get this energy that you'd rather like not do it. That's the energy I'm getting. So it feels like there's a risk here. So either, you know, uh, this is somewhere where you do spiritual practice or, um, you know, you may be, feel a little bit nervous because it's a friend of a friend. You know, there's something that's a little bit too close to home that you feel this could be a gamble. But know that this is in the uh, protagonist energy, so it's going to pay off. It's going to be successful. There is a wonderful love here for you. And yes, you should take the risk, okay? Because this is your counterpart. That's the energy I'm getting. Um, so uh, no more unlucky in love. If you weren't even looking, love is arriving. Okay, now we have the Emperor in the antagonist position. So I feel like, Capricorn, you're busy on your work. You're strategizing about the future, making plans in terms of finances. You've got your business head on, and that's when you meet love. And isn't that always the way? When you're not looking for it, along it comes. So um, you may have dealt with people in the past that were immature if they were younger than you, um, or just immature in general. You may have felt like um, you weren't ready for love, because you were busy doing your work situation and had that sort of strategy, that five-year plan that keeps coming up for... They just said the word, the name, it's a name, Sylvia. Oh, wow. Then they've given me... No, 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 they've given me a song, Sylvia's Mother. Oh, my God, that's like... That's a long time ago song. Sylvia's Mother. Um, I don't know... I don't know the lyrics of that, um, but Sylvia's mother. I don't know why that song's come up. Maybe your person's called Sylvia, or maybe um, your name is Sylvia. Maybe Sylvia's mother. Maybe that's a song that's playing when you meet each other. Um, if they let me know anything more about Sylvia's mother, uh, I will let you know. But if not, I will look up the lyrics myself and see uh, what the energy of that song is. Um, 
Yeah, but I feel like you may have uh, denied looking, denied yourself looking for love because of um, your work situation. But surprise, the moon card in the unified position, there is a bit of a reveal here. It feels very much like you're going to have to make some voluntary changes to that five-year plan because you may not have figured in that there's some love arriving, okay? So um, it feels like you may, you may think you were going from A to B, you got your plan, but along comes A.1 and you have to take a stop off because love has just arrived at this point. So it's not a detour as it were, but it's going to be a wonderful ride. You've picked up someone to join you. That's the energy I'm getting. Um, now this is totally unseen. When you get the moon card, this is Cancerian energy and Pisces energy as well. Um, but what they're giving me here is um, this was, you did not see this coming. Okay. And um, trust your intuition. It feels right and you know it. And I feel like at first you may be a kind of like fight or flight. Hmm, do I do this? Do I not do this? Because I feel like those pincers are out. Protective mode. Should I should I invest in this connection? Should I not? Um, what are we doing here? Are we are we a thing? Or are we not? You will have no doubt. This person is into you like times a million. And I feel like you are too. Um, Trust your intuition. This person's a good egg. Okay, that's what they're giving me. But the hangman position here, it's a little reminder. You need a new perspective. Yes, you can have it all, Capricorn. If you felt like you've had to sacrifice your your uh, love in order to get work done and uh, build a solid future there, Spirit's reminding you, you can have both, you know. You can have both. You are entitled to both and you deserve both, Capricorn, because not only are you a very dependable, reliable person, you've got a beautiful heart that needs loving. Just as, you know, you're not a robot. You're not here to just, you know, um, make your money on that treadmill and then, then go find the love. You know, you're a feeling being. And when spirit says it's time, it's time. So we got that hangman energy. You may have waited a long time for love, but then put it on the back burner and thought, I'm going to go and I'm going to make my finances and bury my head in work or in, you know, goals, achievements, you know, hobbies, whatever it is that you do in order to forget about it. Um, but that's long enough. It's time. You know, you've outgrown that ideal. As you can see in the bottom there, that, you know, the time is out. We're, we're shedding anything that is suffocating that, you know, has no longer has growth there. Um, those ideas, they're all gone. It's time to have that breakthrough. So you can see that skull there. That is representative of the death card. Scorpionic energy, big changes, endings, moving on and rebirthing to a more positive uh, outcome and outlook. Because we have that breakthrough where you reach up for happiness. Okay, that's the sun in there. And that hand, you're going after happiness and you're going to achieve it. That hand is touching the sun. So you're about to be very successful in terms of love. And it's about time. Okay, so no, no more um, thinking you can't have it all, Capricorn. You can. Now I'm just going to go get the details using the Light Sears Tarot. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angel. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? The tower. So that's basically surprise. Okay. Now, a lot of people go, the tower is a very negative surprise. That's not, that's not true. Uh, the tower is actually to just make you feel a little bit uncomfortable so that you change your mindset. Okay. So, uh, you know, this surprise, I feel like in some way you've been running a little bit from love and, um, spirit says, oh, well now it's time when it's most inconvenient. When you're thinking about your five-year plan, getting your work head on and doing stuff like that, along comes love. Oh, thank you so much. There we go. You know what? It's over the emperor card. You're walking away from that sort of mindset, okay? Yes, you're still keeping your eye on your goals and you're still going after them, but love is coming after you, Capricorn. So are you ready? Thank you so much, spirit guys, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know regarding love for November? Thank you so much. The hangman in reverse. <laughs> I feel like you don't want to be a victim of love, like love will slow you down in some way. That's not the truth. There, there's overthinking this situation as to whether you should go for it. Um, we got the Eight of Swords. Do you want those cards? Thank you so much. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. 
Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know regarding their love situation, November 2020? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Ace of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. I think you're fighting it, Capricorn. There's this energy of fighting it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Ooh. There is a complete flip of turnaround. Justice. Okay, I see what's happened. Yeah. Thank you so much for it, guys, for angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know regarding? There it is. Look at that. I feel, I really think you're, you're fighting it, Capricorn. Um, the Emperor. Look at that. Are you choosing work over love? Or are you going to reject this? Let's, let's go deeper and find out. Now, the Tower. You are not expecting this love. You are not expecting to meet somebody, and you're certainly not expecting it to go really quickly. Uh, but when you get a tower moment, this is change. It's transformation. It is uh, a surprise that shifts suddenly in your physical sphere. It's like um, I mentioned it earlier to uh, Aquarius reading. It's like a paradigm shift. You did not see it coming, and it kind of changes everything. Um, it's unexpected, and it's really interesting because it gives you an opportunity for form a, a positive transformation so it's the end of old ideas about love but also um, it's to shake you up out, out of your comfort zone so wherever you feel stuck in a rut or thinks you think things have been you know out of your control love's not coming for you so you're burying your head in work instead then the universe goes surprise here's some love for you so that that tower is to shake up your energy and make you feel uncomfortable to come out of your comfort zone okay because Okay, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Uh, they just asked me to show you. Uh, they said show the tower card, and there it is. Um, I love it when they do that. Um, sorry, they just asked me to go to the. I'll show you in case you can't see on the camera. They asked me to go to the traditional Rider Waite Tarot to show you uh, the tower card, and uh, they just said pick it up. So uh, it was on the top, which wonderful. I mean, I can't plan that. So um, we have the tower card. Um, what they are giving me here is they want to show you the um, act of nature, so the surprise, it opens your crown chakra. So um, it allows you to use your intuition on a high level. It sets the building on fire here. So um, it, the, the, the building's on fire. The two figures have to leap into the unknown. Take that leap of faith together, okay? But if they stay where they were, they'd be stuck and they'd be burnt. And that's not where the universe wants you. They want you to take a leap of faith. That's what it is. The building is on fire to make you feel uncomfortable. Why? To nudge you off the fence and stop choosing the same thing you always choose and choose a different route, a different avenue, okay? So it's over the Wheel of Fortune, which indicates, surprise, it's a lucky turn of events. Here comes love. This is the hand of fate dealing you a wonderful opportunity in love. Now we have the Eight of Cups. Capricorn, you're walking away from something. Now... Are you choosing, you know, business? Do you feel like you have to walk away from your business head or your business ideas in order to um, action this love? You can have it all, you know. Uh, you don't have to withdraw just so that you can continue on your plan. What we got here is um, moving away from anything that does not emotionally serve you, that doesn't set your soul on fire. But if this love opportunity that's coming in if it does, what are you walking away from? Okay, I feel like there is some sort of wounding um, here. You are spiritually ascending and you're pretty close, you know, to ending a cycle there. Um, but we do have that 10 of cups and we have that justice, both in reverse. So there's something maybe from your past that you're walking away from. Someone was underhanded, uh, maybe dishonest, unfair in a situation. You could be dealing with legalities as well in terms of business that you're thinking, I can't even focus on love right now. Okay, but we'll come to that in a moment. But as you can see here, we have the hangman. It's in the reverse. So you've been waiting for a long time for the right one to come along. And you may have felt like a victim sometimes that the universe is not delivering um, what you'd hoped for and you don't want a new perspective on love. It feels like here's work. I'm keeping this here There's love over there when I'm ready. I'll come to that. But right now I'm doing this so there's kind of an energy here of you pushing it away There's a little bit of anxiety 
The Eight of Swords is an imprisonment of the mind. It um, it often indicates there is analytical, you know, over analyzing a situation, self imposed kind of restrictions that you're like, no, I'm not ready for love. I don't want to do it right now. I need to do my work. I need to do that. You know, it feels like you have to give up something or compromise in order to have both and, or have one or the other. And that's not true. You can have the, the both. You deserve both. Okay. So overanalyzing the situation, this new love that comes on in, it's actually going to, um, how can I put that? It's only going to highlight some sort of, um, it feels like either you're walking away from some sort of um, family problems and, uh, you know, you're like, oh, you've witnessed uh, people splitting up in the past when you were like younger, you know, that sort of family trouble that is a emotionally dysfunctional kind of family unit. And you think, I'm not ready for that sort of love, but this is actually a very pure love that's coming your way. It feels like there's some wounding here or someone, you've left someone, you, you've just broken up from somebody, um, there's separation here, and you feel like you're not ready for new love. It feels like there's some there's a reason. These cards, even if you look them up, it looks like you're putting the brakes on, Capricorn. And um, I feel like it's because you've been disappointed in love before, let down, and now your head's just not there. Uh, you just don't want to be disappointed again. But that's coming from wounding from the past, from someone that was unfair, treated you badly, may have walked away from you, and you thought, what the hell? You know, why would you invest in love again like that if it's going to walk away from you or cause kind of uh, trouble, cause discord, emotional upset? Why would you do that? That's what I'm getting here. So I feel like, you know, um, you've got a lot of that spinning around in your mind as soon as you kind of think that this is serious and we have that eight of wands it's frustrating it just puts delays on this connection so um yeah i feel like you're putting on the brakes because something in the past was just really unfair and you feel like it could go round and round in circles but this is this is something new this is something different okay uh something very very different with that justice in the reverse not everybody's going to be dishonest or unfair. They're not going to be, uh, you know, unbalanced, as it were. They're not going to tip the scales of your life and put you out of balance either, Capricorn. You can have it all. You just require a new perspective there. Now, we do have the Emperor. Now, the Emperor, Aries energy, it feels like, you know, bold leader energy, charm, but having the courage to go after your dreams and your achievements. This is business head. Okay, Capricorn. Now, normally, I would feel like this person, male or female, it's not about the gender in my readings, it's about the energy. I feel like you're wondering if you should make a move with this person. Um, and, but then you, you're, you're doing it like a strategy in terms of can you keep the business going or something. And Capricorn, you've got wonderful, beautiful, pure hearts with a lot of love to give. Not everybody is going to be like strategically planning, but what I do get is there's a little nervousness where you're like, am I ready for love right now? Am I ready to invest in love right now? Because I'm trying to get something going on with my career. And it feels very like either you're entrepreneurial or you're working your way up in the ranks. You've got a plan. That's what I'm getting. And you're very well respected with what you do, but you're, you're, it's almost like you're questioning, is this a wise move? Okay, now, um, yeah, we're going to go again um, with the uh, Fountain Tarot to gain a little bit more clarity. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guide Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do you need to know about November? Okay. Um, now, they're just giving me this energy as well, that this new person that's coming on in, um, they also may have a very... It feels like they kind of match you in terms of career, but this person is more kind of willing to explore a relationship with you than you are them, uh, the world. So you're definitely closing a cycle of something. Um, you're seeing things clearly. There's the new love that's coming on in for you. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know regarding love? Could you please guide them for their highest good? Ooh. The Empress. <gasps> 
Capricorn, you're choosing love. I love it. But you're going to overthink it first. <laughs> That's the energy. So we've got right next to each other, the Empress and the Emperor. Okay. So divinely guided energy, new love coming on in. So they are clarifying for me, but you're closing off a cycle and you're doing a lot of thinking first. Um, so you will be in your head a little bit for a while. Five of Cups. Yeah. Abandonment issues or someone walked away in the past that was really unfair and not warranted on you at all. So you're guarded. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What else do they need to know? The devil. Mm. Now, Capricorn, that is your sign, okay? Uh, not to say that you're a devil or anything like that, but this is Scorpio season, so this is about shedding anything that doesn't serve you. The new perspective, thinking that you are a victim in love is the only thing they're giving me here that is holding you back. Okay, now you may not feel like you're being a victim in love. I don't feel like you're a victim at all, Capricorn. You learned a lot of lessons from something in the past, but they're asking you what is the residue that is keeping you stuck from moving on to finding new love. I'm just going to clarify that devil card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. Two of coins. Yeah, that's the thing that's giving you indecision and stopping you from moving on to finding happiness. Okay. So, um, and also I said I would clarify that union card. So here we go. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please clarify the union card for my beautiful Capricorns? We have the four of swords. So that's a new opportunity. Courage, loving yourself. And we have the six of swords. And that is the question mark. Are you ready to move on? What is keeping you stuck? Have the courage to move past anything that is keeping you stuck. So same message as it was the other side. Something about union. Okay, so we have the world card. So you're closing a cycle in November and it is uh, completing a goal, learning the lesson and moving forward. So um, this Wheel of Fortune, it is a wonderful turn of events. I have to say with the world card, it's your right on point, okay? Spirit reminds you when you get this card, um, you're exactly where you're meant to be right now. The universe is lining things up for you. All you have to do is be ready for it and be vulnerable. Now, a lot of people do not like to be vulnerable, um, which is obviously a natural human thing to do. But what they mean by that is not that you have to bear all, but what they're indicating is, you know, show your feelings, show your wonderful heart, be free. Be playful, be flirtatious, you know, express your love in any way that you can, Capricorn, when you come into being with this person, because it's going to be a mirror. This person is divinely guided for you. It's soulmate energy. Okay. Um, okay. So they just said two places. So perhaps you're, uh, this is a world card. So perhaps you're, uh, booking some sort of vacation or having some sort of travel, but they just said um, Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, so um, maybe you're from there or maybe uh, your person is from there or has just come from there on vacation. Maybe there was something, you know, you had planned a trip there and it was in delay or something uh, because we do have that eight of wands in reverse suggests some sort of frustrating delay there, but we have the world. So um, this is often like an emigration card as well, or maybe uh, traveling, relocating for something. So if that resonates in some way for you, there's something in this message for you. Of course, it's not going to be for everyone, but they indicate occasionally someone's energy that I'm popping on into and I pop into different people's energy at different times just so you're aware now we have that seven of cups in the reverse so you're going to think you're going to think things through when you meet this person okay Capricorn and um you're you're actually going to be in no doubt the way you feel it's clarity will be restored here there's going to be an end to any illusions you had of the past about love there's going to be a restored sense of Hell yeah, I'm awesome and I deserve love. And yeah, this person's awesome and they are my match. Because look, we have that page of cups. Pages, they bring news, you know, so you will have some sort of message or, you know, come into contact with this new love. Pages are about new love. You may meet this person at, uh, as I said, some sort of either volunteer work or, you know, some sort of spiritual practice. This person's very deep emotionally. Even though this is a page, they're very introspective. Uh, the page in this situation represents 
that they are uh, new for you, uh, but also that they may be a little bit younger than you, but not by much. That's what I'm getting, not by much here. Um, this person wants to travel the world with you. This, and they're giving me again the whirlwind. They're also saying blue rose, blue rose. Now, either this person gives you a blue rose or you give them a blue rose or that place is called blue rose or maybe that's your nickname or you've got a tattoo like that. If it resonates in some way, blue rose, there's something in this message for you, okay, of new love coming on in. We have the Empress. So we got a match. The Emperor and the Empress, they are in the upright. You me meeting your counterpart. A lot of abundance is surrounding this uh, connection between you and your counterpart, male or female, whichever uh, you identify as, you're calling in your counterpart. And there is a lot of balance, harmony. There is um, a lot of uh, creativity, fertility, you know, success surrounding this relationship. It is longevity. This is the long haul relationship here. So if you're thinking about if it's a good move, you got a match, okay? So uh, the Empress also has confidence in herself. She knows uh, where her boundaries are and she knows that she's deserving of love. She calls it in. She is radiating beauty from within and that is you Capricorn. You're ra radiating that beautiful light of yours to the outer and everyone can see how wonderful you are and that actually magnifies draws people towards you okay and um, it's drawing you towards your counterpart and them to you vice versa okay so um the next card in the spread is the five of cups this is success you're walking on uh, moving on from anything that you know you feel regret from or regret of losing you know if someone walked away from you in the past abandoned you in some way you felt unloved, you're turning it around. You're moving on from those emotions and your hope is returning. There is a recovery in terms of love. Now is your moment for love, okay? Now we do have that devil card. So they're indicating the new perspective, that hangman energy. Your new perspective is what is keeping you stuck? Why are you putting on the brakes? What is it that is making you stay where you are, okay? Is it an obsession with someone else from the past? you cannot move on from? Is it, um, you know, you, you are in addictive cycles where you gravitate towards the wrong person? They want you to look at what's keeping you stuck and they want you to release it, okay? That two of coins in the reverse, that's letting go. That's making a decision and it's committing to um, a, a decision rather than, you know, should I be in? Should I be out? Should I be in? You know, in the upright, that's about, you know, you got two choices. You got two options there. Am I in this relationship? Am I out? In the reverse, you've made a decision, okay? And they want you to cut off anything that is holding you back, make the decision for your ultimate happiness, that sun card. So this is the successful outcome. This is partnership that will lead to happiness, emotional contentment, it's successful, it's freeing. You feel like um, in your inner child is released. It's a beautiful, almost like new love kind of energy because you and this person don't have baggage. There's a lot of shedding here. Um, healthy building blocks for the future they're indicating the two blocks there there's something about the water as well they just said beauty is in the eye of the beholder now i know that obviously is true and it is a bit of a cliche sometimes so maybe this uh you know this person is not what you usually go for and maybe some of your uh soul tribe may be like oh this isn't the person you normally go for but they're saying beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Now that doesn't mean that they're not, you know, easy on the eyesight at all or anything like that. I don't want anyone to get offended there. But it feels like they're not your usual type. So therefore, there's like a question mark on it. Like, oh, you're going to go for someone like that. That's really interesting. Um, I don't know. It feels, it feels different. And that's probably why it's going to work. Because it is different. And you're doing something different with a new perspective. And shedding old ways. Okay, so the sun, there's a Leo element here, so maybe this person is a Leo. Um, but we also, I wanted to pull cards on um, this Union card. So we have, um, just to let you know, we have the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords indicates, you know, you're restless in a situation where, you know, work is fulfilling, of course. But sometimes, those 3 a.m. thoughts, you're wondering how fulfilling is just being on that work treadmill. So there is a new opportunity, a new option when you get it like this. New outlook. You're ready to act on something new. 
okay? Um, you're having that courage to recognize after a period of maybe loss, heartbreak, you know, you know, you've taken yourself out of the love game and now you're finding your confidence. Again, a Leo card, this is about your self-love. You're, you're respecting yourself, respecting your boundaries, and you're having the courage to love again. Maybe you buried your head in work because you lost your mojo. You felt, um, you know, you lost um, your confidence when it came to love. You may have felt like you were not desirable because of the way someone treated you in the past. Someone walked away and it was a surprise. You know, it was a complete and utter abandonment and you didn't expect it. So spirit saying, yes, it was a tough ride. Yes, there were lessons because you had that world card. Yes, you learned the lessons and now you're ready. So walk forward, walk tall, Capricorn. You deserve love and you can have it all, okay? Just so you're aware. And again, we have that six of swords. Move on from anything that's making you feel stuck, okay? Um, it's not serving you. Have the courage to move on from anything that is keeping you stuck there and move into something more hopeful energy. Now, I'm just gonna give you uh, any final messages before we close, just using um, the English Magic Tarot. Any final messages for my beautiful Capricorn regarding love, November 2020 into December? <gasps> wow. Recently, the cards have been shooting over this water. Okay, so we have the Ace of Coins in reverse. They're indicating don't stress about money. Yes, that's easier said than done because when you think about it long term, Money is important, of course. We need to pay the bills, but it's not the be-all and end-all, okay? They just want you to be aware of that. Um, I know easier said than done, but they're indicating the eight of coins, which is you're the best person at your craft. You've mastered your craft. You're enjoying your work. And yes, you're on set already to make a lot of money, that king of coins. You're investing, making solid investments there, okay? So uh, you're, you're, you're right on the money here. You're still on the way up there. You're at the top of your game. Nothing is going to change here if you invest in love. Okay? Um, and we do have that Queen of Swords energy. I have to pull a card on the Queen of Swords. Libra energy, it's about, yes, you're self-sufficient, but speak your truth. If you have feelings about this person, don't lock them away. Okay? Um, So they're just asking me to look at this card a little bit closer. Something about fidelity. It's like I'm getting an energy that you were very truthful in the past. You were very, uh, you know, your fidelity was on your side and someone turned their back on that. I'm just going to pull a card on that, okay? Can you please uh, clarify this Queen of Swords? Thank you so much. Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, I understand. They want you to think logically about this situation, okay? They're saying logically, don't overanalyze it. Let yourself go. Release. There is a new hope here. Escape your thoughts. Think logically about this situation and speak your truth. Yes, you're self-sufficient, but you know, Love leads the way here. Money will take care of itself. There's a lot of money in your chart. And if you feel like you're looking for a new job opportunity, it comes after um, a disappointment. You may have been let down in something or let go of something. And then, but there is a, you, you're at the top of your game. So it is not long before you find an opportunity for you to make more money than you ever did before. You're making wise, solid investments. Okay, but be logical. Don't overthink the situation. Love saves the day. You can have it all, Capricorn, and you will. So they just want you to be mindful of that. Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, we will leave it there. Uh, they've asked me to close, so I will. I'm just going to give you a Wisdom of the Oracle card before we close there. Thank you so much. Ooh, go the distance. Okay, you can do it. You can win this race across the board. Now it's number 47. When you reduce it, 4 plus 7 is 11. This is the number of the divine. It is a soul path number, but also soulmate number. Okay, so you're calling in your divine counterpart. Also, you know, it's been a barren desert. Look at that. It's been pretty dry. 
in terms of love. Yeah, nothing around there, but you're going the distance. You're nearly at the finish line to find that love and you're shedding old ways. You're shedding everything, leaving it all behind in order to have this new start. Okay, a lot of stars are aligning right now for this moment. I'll read from the book because I would not want to tell you anything wrong. Um, and I'm just going to give you a quick message from uh, Nature's Whispers. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? There's quite a few there. Um, what do they need to know? Any final messages? We have empowerment and we have be spontaneous. Okay, Capricorn, no overthinking. Be spontaneous. Empowerment. You can do it. You deserve love and you can have it all. Oh, look at that. Those two figures reaching out to each other. Oh, they're just giving me a song. Sweet Caroline. Is it sweet Caroline? Reaching out, touching me, touching you. I don't know. They're, that's their words. They're the words that they're giving me. So I'm not sure of the lyrics, but they just gave me that right now. Maybe your name is Caroline um, or the person that you meet is called Caroline. It's number 31. When you reduce it, it's number four, the emperor. So business head on. Just remove it for a little while. Be spontaneous. Remember, reach out, show your feelings. This wonderful love is divinely guided. And also the moon there. It's a, it is the moon and it is very orange. So uh, it's a wonderful full moon there. There is a surprise. This person is going to reveal their feelings for you. And we also have that empowerment. Number 45. So four plus five is nine. The hermit card, which is Virgo energy go deep within for clarity get the truth of the situation the spiritual illumination will show you you know yes you can have it all you're overcoming anything that is rocky look at that there's some rocky seas there they're showing me a boat but yeah so uh anything that was hard work before is actually going to completely lighten up you're overcoming obstacles and getting something wonderful that will lead to a happy ever after and i know that sounds very disney but uh it feels very successful this union a lot of happiness a lot of support um now i'm just going to read from the book go the distance number 47. and you get the relationship message it says in the upright you are, I'll start again, you're either, oh, I'll start again again, you are either in or calling in a harmonious relationship that can stand the test of time, for better or worse as you ride up the downs and the ups, and even strain, break yourself, and are remade in new growth, you are being redeemed by the power of regeneration. Harmony does not mean that there will ever be a wrong note played, but there is a relationship that is marked by endurance and dedication to overall unity that is here for you. A new song can be written, an instrument can be tuned, and the symphony of love will play on. Listen to your heart right now. Isn't it magnificent? Okay, so you're calling it in, and it will be yours. Don't fight it, okay? Um, there's no question. You can have this. You can have this and the career. Everything. You can have it all, Capricorn. I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Oh wow. So I call. I close my eyes when I pick the trinkets, as I love to be surprised by spirit to see what I get. I got the two hearts intertwined. Soulmate energy, baby. You're going to be partnering up with somebody. Um, they are giving their heart to you. And it looks like you'll be giving it to them, okay? It requires a new perspective. You can do this. You can have it all. Um, but they are intertwined, and uh, it feels like, yeah, beautiful union there. Where would you like this? They won on the sun card. Right in the center. It's very happy. Now, the key to the transformation here is to move on. We got that uh, symbol on the key, which is the rose. Now, the rose connects to the death card, that white rose on the death card. So, Scorpionic energy, Scorpio season, but also there is big changes here. Endings, shifting perspective, time to move on to something more positive. You are unlocking a, a, a very exciting time for you. There's a rejuvenation here. There is peace, but you must transform your situation. You have that key to unlock it all, Capricorn. And yes, you can have it all. Uh, where would you like this? Where would you like this? 
Okay. They actually want it on the empowerment card. Okay. You deserve love. Stand in your power and have the courage to give fully to the connection when it arises. If you haven't already met this person because it feels very in the now or very uh, imminent. Okay. Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, I will leave it there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message and lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. Love and love.